Okay, so I'm in Bipal's mall now, and first impression is that there's a lot of food here. It sort of hits you in the face, especially in the lower ground floor, where you can see behind me all the kiosks is sort of like open. So all the food, the smells just come up and it hits you, which is a good thing if you love food like me. The residence is actually connected to the mall, which is quite convenient, at, and it's at the lower ground floor. So I'm just gonna head into the, the link to the residential site But I just wanted to show you how vibrant the mall is here um, It's weekday, so towards the end of um, lunchtime But I can see it's still like pretty packed, so that's a good sign So here is the link to the residences Direct to the mall, it's pretty convenient to get around So currently we've got two units in this residential block. One is one bedroom, one is two bedrooms. And I'm inside the one bedroom unit now. Let me give you a flippy flippy to show you what's up, okay? So just bear with me. Uh -huh. Okay, this is what it looks like. So kitchen, fridge, dining, living, everything is provided aircon fan lights. Just need to rock up with your luggage. Um, wardrobe, bedroom, and then bathroom is um, in there. So everything is provided and what I like is also this view. It's pretty calming like you know you wake up in the morning, go work out in the park and then probably head out somewhere out there or there to work. As you can see like it's it's pretty gloomy but I'm glad it didn't you know really really pour um, so yeah uh, what I'll do now is I'm gonna head straight up to the two bedroom units so you can have a preview there as well if I've got a bone to pick with this place right I would say the experience entering into this building feels very industrial very straightforward and boring and by that I mean like look at this like long ass corridor so I'm standing at, at the end right and I have to walk all the way there it just feels a little bit creepy especially um, if you are alone so you do have to bear that in mind but I would say like you know for a mid-range kind of condo and with so much amenities you know plus and minuses depending on what works for you I think if you don't really mind this then I think it's okay but I do have to point out this even the car parks look better than this hallway here so yeah welcome to the two bedroom unit I'm about to do a flippy flippy so let's give you a short tour of the place as you can see, very similar to the one bedroom unit, it is sort of a shoebox setting here. A bit of a funny like laundry placement area, but that's okay since space is a little bit tight. Um, this is a kitchen area, so everything is self-contained as you can see, like even down to the, the dishes, the pots and pans, and the cutlery. Everything's here, the fridge, there's another cabinet and the oven there as well. This is your um, dining area in the middle here. Um, in terms of like decor, it's like pretty basic, like there's nothing fancy, but that's okay. So this is the first bedroom which um, is converted into like an office-ish. So working area, there's the wardrobe and there's two bathrooms here, so no sharing necessary. Yeah. Let me flip you around and then go to the one bedroom, the first bedroom here. This is the nicer bedroom of course, look at the view there, it's pretty nice. City view. Okay. And then this is the bedroom. Now that you've had a little bit of a tour, uh, let's just bring this video to a close and some of my closing thoughts are that number one, I feel that this place is great for let's say a young couple. If you live and work in Cyberjaya, it's really easy to get around. Uh, do note that the two bedroom units come with only one car park. The other one, the one bedroom unit also come with one car park. 
But if you can work around that, then I think this place is really affordable um, given the amenities that are available in this sort of, I call it a fully contained uh, mixed development um, place. And if there's guests coming by, there's always a hotel next door that they can stay. Um, other than that, you know, very easy for your makan, for your shopping everything is here there's really no reason to travel around so if you are sort of a homely person and you want everything to be convenient at a valuable price i think this is the right place for you but if you are looking for a place that's a little bit posh nice swimming pool nice entrance a little bit more grand then this place is definitely not for you um plus and minus but yeah i would say comfortably in the mid-range and this unit as well the furnishings are actually they're quite okay you do need to clean them um, up a little bit spruce it up a little bit with some colors some patterns because everything's sort of white and a little bit um, stale if you ask me so yeah if there's anything you'd like to know more uh, links in the description below for the details and also the rental details of these two units then thank you so much for joining me i'll see you again in the next episode bye bye